Good morning, Becky's and Lollies. So yesterday we started talking about wild animals. Okay, and we're going to carry on talking about that today. And we're going to talk about a little bit about what they eat. Okay, so first I want to show you the pictures that I showed you yesterday. Who remembers these pictures? There we go, we've got all of our wild animals. And let's show you some of these. What is this? It's a zebra. What is this? It's a hippo. What is this? Oopsie. It's the giraffe with his long neck. And who's this? It's an elephant. And what's that? A lion. Can you make a loud lion roar. Wow, good job. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about what they eat. Okay, so what I want you to do now, buggies and lollies, I want you sitting nicely on the carpet, butterfly wings, put your hands on your hip, press down, press it down, 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 and on your lips, on your nose, on your eyes, on your ears, close your hands and in your lap. You get three different kinds of animals. Okay, now those are carnivore. Can you say carnivore? Carnivore, herbivore, and omnivore. And today we are going to talk about carnivores. Now, can you say carnivore? Say it with me. Carnivore. Okay. Now carnivores are animals that eat meat. Okay, so we've got a picture here of some carnivores. Do you see there, what is that? A tiger, and what's that? A lion, what's that? It's a leopard. Now all of these animals are examples of carnivores, okay? And what do carnivores eat? They eat meat. Okay. Now carnivores, because they eat meat, they they have very sharp teeth. Okay, now I want you to look at this picture here for me. I'm going to bring it close. Look at his mouth. Look at the lion's mouth. Do you see those sharp teeth? Do you see that? It's very, very long and very sharp. You can see the tiger as well. Look at the tiger's teeth. Do you see that? He has very, very long teeth. Now those teeth have a special name. I wanna show you on this picture as well. Do you see the lion's teeth? Do you see that? Those are called canine teeth. We also have canine teeth, but they're much, much smaller. And lions and leopards and tigers and all of the carnivores need those canine teeth to bite into meat because meat is very, very tough, okay? It's not like when mommy and daddy cook meat for us that we can just use a knife and fork. They don't know how to use a knife and fork. So they use their big, long teeth to cut into the meat so that they can eat it, okay? The same thing, you also get birds that are carnivores. And birds that are carnivores are like the eagle. Do you remember the picture of the eagle that I showed you? Let me show you again. There's our eagle. Okay. He is also a carnivore. He eats little mice and um, snakes. He gets rid of all the snakes for us. And because he eats meat, his beak is very, very sharp. Okay. Do you see there how sharp his beak beak is okay that's also so that he can go into the meat and he can eat it all right so what do carnivores eat they eat meat okay and if you go to on a game drive and you see any animal that has those long long teeth that come out like that like the lion has then you know that is a carnivore all right, very good, boys and girls. Okay, can we do the song that we learned yesterday, the rhyme? You're going to do the rhyme with me. All right, let's go. Giraffes are tall with necks so long. Elephants' trunks are big and strong. 
Zebras have stripes and can gallop away, while monkeys in the trees do sway. Old crocodiles swim in the pool so deep, or lies in the sun and goes to sleep. Good job! Can you do it one more time with me? Alright, giraffes are tall with necks so long, elephants' trunks are big and strong. Zebras have stripes and can gallop away, while monkeys in the trees do sway. Old crocodiles swim in the pool so deep, or lies in the sun and goes to sleep. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, <clears throat> so what I want you guys to do for me today, okay, we've got another activity for you. Okay. So what I did was I cut out these shapes out of cardboard. Okay, mom and dad, you can use anything, any old cardboard. I just used the back of some long life milk. I think we all have lots of that. Um, and then you can just punch some holes in them. Okay, so I've got, what shape is this boys and girls? A rectangle. What shape is this? A square. What shape is this? A triangle. And lastly, what shape is this? A circle. All right. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take some string. Okay. I didn't have any string, so I used some ribbon. So you're going to take some string and you're going to put it in the holes and you're going to thread it. Okay. We do this activity a lot at school. So the same thing all right and you're gonna pull it through and into the holes whoopsie going to put it into the holes and pull into the holes and pull and you're going to go all the way around the circle you're going to do that for all your shapes until it finally looks like this Okay, there we go. And you're going to do that for your triangle. You're going to do that for your square and your rectangle. Okay, if you don't have any ribbon, you can use an old shoelace. You can go to your shoes, take the shoelaces out. Okay, and you're going to do that for me. All right. Okay, boys and girls, can we please do our days of the week? Are you ready? Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, now we're going to do our months of the year as well. But remember, that one's a little bit more difficult. So, reach into your pocket, find your thinking cap, put it on. Is your thinking cap on? All right, are you ready? Months of the year. January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Great job, boys and girls. Okay, now I want us to do our shapes again, the same as we do it every morning. What shape is this? 